My name is Matt and I've recently acquired a 60 foot ocean racing sailboat that used to be known as Duracell. Uh, I plan to uh, turn this boat into a comfortable, fast cruising boat in the next few years. All right, here we have the cruiser in his element and in his Polynesian sarong. A couple years ago, my wife and I had just finished a two year cruise around the Pacific on our 40 foot sloop. Louise and we had come back to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I had spent a lot of time thinking about my boat, thinking about cruising, what the perfect cruising boat is. Uh, I'm a shipwright uh, by trade and um, I love tinkering and thinking about what makes a better boat. Once we got back from our trip, we decided we were going to uh, move to land and I wanted a project. Conveniently for me, I found in a post on a forum, John, who had uh, reluctantly decided to um, find a new home for his Open 60, which was once Duracell, this boat. So a little bit more about the boat specifically. It is, like I said, 60 feet overall. It's a, a 15 foot wide boat, what we call a beam and the draft, which is how deep the boat is in the water, uh, with the keel on is about 12 feet, uh, which is very deep for um, a cruising boat um, and will obviously need to be uh, modified. The boat weighs, with the keel on it, about 25,000 pounds. The keel is about 10,000 pounds and the, just the hull itself is about 15,000. So the boat is in our backyard, more or less, um, kind of out here in the forest. So we've got a really sweet uh, working environment, with the exception of the uh, leaves and stuff that will be falling on the boat. <clears throat> so just a sh short tour, I guess. So cockpit, um, there's, this is where the rudder uh, stocks come out of the deck. Um, this is served two purposes. It was a an emergency rudder first, and also it was like a tracking foil, tracking rudder to help, I don't know exactly what it did, but to kind of help keep the boat going straight, I guess, I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of the one of the main bulkheads of the Traveler on it. Um, as you can see, lots of big winches and deck hardware back here. Want to go up on the deck first, or yeah? There's not much to see up on the deck because everything's been taken off. Well, because there's no maps. Uh, long tracks, big spinnaker poles. Um, a really long foredeck. This is what we call the doghouse. Um, but this is like where they pretty much lived uh, while they were racing the boat offshore. Um, as you can see, there's this weird chair that has the slides on tracks. Um, and all their navigation equipment was here. The galley was right here. Just a little sink and there was a little gimbaled stove there. There's a microwave. Super simple. Uh, stepping down back here is the engine room right now all this is going to get changed get all the way in there and so one thing that we really like about this boat is that there are watertight bulkheads so uh after the engine room there's a watertight bulkhead 
Watertight bulkheads are walls inside the boat. There's one in the stern and two in the bow. And if the boat are to get damaged, then those compartments that the walls separate can fill up with water and the boat can continue to float. And then these are water ballast tanks. So in heavy going, when it's really windy, you can fill these up with water um, just to add ballast uh, to oppose your sailing rig. Uh, uh, this is like a table that John built that will be cut out. Uh, there's like a, a bed slash work table. The nice thing about a project like this is that it's kind of a clean slate. There's no interior to tear out of the boat. We pretty much start with a hull, a finished hull, um, with a deck on it. And so all of this will come out, including the doghouse will come off, the pod will come out, we'll move the bulkheads, we'll be cutting down the water ballast tanks, and we'll be building an interior inside the boat. Um, a cozy interior. As cozy as we can make it. Because we're all about cause the cozy. Everything will be taken out. There are there are no systems on board that I intend on keeping. I will be replacing everything. Here, are these massive things. This is for the original mast, which you should know there is no mast. The mast, the original mast was uh, broken uh, 25 years ago, and so. We have to find our own, and we intend to find something used, uh, something in the back of a yard, um, something that uh, another boat is replacing with a new one. And so ideally we'll find something with swept spreaders, so we'll probably even be getting rid of these um, chain plates, you know? So everything is getting taken out. We don't even intend to use the same engine. We'll probably take the engine out and sell it. So, this is just the beginning.